Summer is almost here, and if you wanna let those legs breathe, but you don't wanna have to buy anything new, let me show you seven ways to upcycle your pants into shorts. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, I am sharing seven ways to turn your old pants into shorts. You can definitely thrift these and then turn them into shorts. That's definitely another sustainable as well as budget friendly way to do these. All right, we're gonna get right into it. I am going to show you the tutorials for these. I know I very rarely do that, but I am gonna show you the tutorials. But if you want a slower version of each of these, I will definitely add those links in the description box below so that you can see the full slow down version. First up, I'm gonna start you off with a no sew. If you have an old pair of pants, like dress pants or something, and you want to turn them into shorts, it's super easy. Of course, you can just cut them off, but then in order to make them nice and finished and professional, you can buy something that's called hem tape, and you can make a nice little cup just like this. All right, so we have our pants laid flat, so however big you want your fold to be, you wanna double that. So actually, I want my fold to be mm, more like an inch and a half. So I'm gonna measure down three inches. So I can fold these in half. Now I'm gonna cut it on the lower line. Go ahead and fold it along the line up so that I can iron it. After you get the first one in, you want to go ahead and fold it down again. I'm gonna have to split the pants on the outside seam in order to get this deep fold and then I'm gonna iron that. You can add some heat and bond or you can add hem tape, which is just it's already cut so that it fits into the space of a hem. And so you'll notice that this has a sticky side or a like plasticky side and then there's paper on the other side. So what we do is we iron it to one side and then um, take the paper off and iron the two sides together. Pretty adhered, so there we go. And the great thing about making it yourself is you can make these any length that you want. You can make them short like these, and I've even seen them shorter that really let the legs breathe, but you're the blueprint of your style, so you can do yours any way you like. Next up, we're gonna get super comfortable with this really easy sewing tutorial. If you have a pair of elastic waist pants or jeans, here's a couple of easy things that you can do to them, and all you really have to know how to do is run. First, I'm gonna add a pair in just a couple inches past my knee. Then I'll lay the pants in half and cut them across right at the pin. Then I'll cut off the hem of the extra pieces, fold them in half and cut them. Then cut them open. And so I'll have two strips for each leg. Then I'll sew them together along the ends to make a loop. And I'll gather the top edge. Now I'll lay each loop over the end of the pants leg good side to good side and pull the threads together enough to both be the same width. Then I'll sew that to the end of the pants leg and then hem the bottom edge. Lastly, I like to top stitch my seam flat so it'll look nice and finished. And that's it for those. Long shorts or Bermuda shorts are really in now, or as my daughter calls them, jorts, are really in right now. So this pair is perfect for anybody who wants that long length short. Okay, now it's time to take it to the next level. Let's amp this ruffle thing up a bit and really let them have it. I'm gonna put on the tan pair and add a pin to make these shorts. Next, I'll cut them off at the pin, then I'll cut one pants leg open and cut four four inch strips from it. Two strips will be sewn together for one leg and the other two will be for the other leg. So you only need to use one of the extra legs for this tutorial. Next, I'll lay them all together and cut one end at a curve. And I'll sew two of them together at the other end and sew the other two at the end as well. Once those are sewn together, add a gathering stitch on the edge without the curve. Now, pin them down to the end of the shorts so that you have an extra piece that can overlap on the side. Sew down the first layer to the edge of the shorts, then keep that overlap part flipped up and sew it down. Next, you'll fold it down and top stitch it flat like this. And I'm actually gonna let the edge of this ruffle fray a bit, so we're done. And here we're going in the complete opposite direction with that cute little frill on these short shorts. Perfect for the beach or any outdoor event this summer. All right, lastly, let's make a pair of super cute paper bag waist shorts. I'm gonna add a pin at the length I want them to be cut off and once again, cut them off. I'm adding the pin to the back of these because I don't want my booty to be out. Uh -huh. But even when you add the pin, if it looks like it's gonna be too short, just cut it longer and then try them on again. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off the hem of these plus another inch at the bottom of each leg. We're going to add those pieces to the waistband. Then we'll cut about six four inch strips from the excess legs to make a belt. 
and we'll cut a one inch strip for the belt loops. First, I'm gonna pin the old hem to the waistband at the front, back, and side. This will let me know how much I need to stretch while I'm sewing. I'm gonna sew it down and stretch at the same time so there's still stretch enough for me to get into them afterwards. Next, I'll take my one inch belt loop strip and fold it in thirds. I'll sew it down along the first edge, then fold it over again and sew down the last edge. Now we can sew all our belt strips together to make one long strip. We'll fold it in half and sew down one end and the whole side. Then we can pull that right side out, iron it flat, fold the end inside and sew it closed. Now I'll take my belt loop and fold it in half and cut it. Then I'll fold each of those two in half and cut them as well so that now I have four belt loops. Then I'll fold each under and sew down the belt loops on the waistband, two in front and two in the back. And lastly, I'm going to let these fray as well, but I don't want my fray to get out of control. So I add a stitch along the edge to keep the fray from going up too far. And that's it for those. And then these last ones, you can add the paper bag waist or you can just go ahead and hem them at the bottom. But I really, really love that effect on something that just used to be a regular elastic waist pair of jeans. These are super cute. It gives a really fun detail and it's going to make your old pants stand out. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are in the middle of a series where we are transforming our clothes into our dream Pinterest inspiration. And it is going so good. You don't want to miss what we do next. And if you're interested in journaling or planning your upcycle projects, I do have an upcycle planner for purchase that I'll add the link here as well as in the description box. And if you are a member and you want extra behind the scenes, early content, as well as maybe classes with me, then definitely hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to learn more about my membership group. And speaking of ruffles, if you have a pair of jeans that are way too big you might have lost weight recently or you were able to snag somebody else's jeans that may have been passed down to you then you can definitely take those in and make them super cute and super frilly with this upcycle all right so we have our jeans laid flat i am going to go ahead and cut them off as short this seems to have like a curved edge so i'm gonna fold them so that each side is even Woo. now we need to take the waistband off. Three, two, one. I am going to go put it on myself and see how much I need to take in. Where the pins are, we're going to open up the waistband, put the pins together, lay it flat, and sew it across right here. So that once those two are together, then we can you know, fold them back how they were and we'll have a fitted, but I'm not gonna cut it until I try it on again. So you know, we're gonna cut the sides, not all the way down, but a little bit. This is what we're going for. And I'm just gonna top stitch. All right, quite a lot. I ended up having to do two pleats in the front in order for it to fit. And added a pleat right here, and then the rest I tucked underneath here and to the back. Right now we're gonna go with the top stitch and sew the waistband back down. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. And oh, uh, I really like these because I feel like no matter who they're on, they are going to elongate the leg if that's what you're looking for. And they almost give a skirt-like effect and they're super fun and frilly. And did I hear you say that you are looking for biker shorts or just something to lounge around the house in? I got you, try this one. You can either take an old pair of leggings and just cut them off and hem them, or you can take a sweater and completely transform it into your own biking shorts and biker top. So we're gonna use the arms of the sweater for the biker shorts. In order to make sure I could do this, I did put my leg in the arms. I've also confirmed that the sleeve is long enough to make the biker shorts with room enough to turn under the waistband. But just to be safe, I'm gonna cut off the sleeve at the curve instead of just cutting it straight across. And after I cut it, I did put my leg in it again to see how far I could pull them up and still be comfortable. And that's where you see the pins here, that's where the crotch will be. Now that I'm satisfied with the fit, I can cut off the excess at the top. In order to create a waistband, I'm gonna use an elastic waistband from an old garment. 
and I'll piece together strips from the scraps of the sweater until I have a big loop that can fold over the elastic. Now I can fold it top down and clip it to the shorts. Once we have it all clipped, we can sew the waistband to the shorts while stretching it since the widths are different. I like this one because it's super simple and if you follow along, it kind of teaches you the background of the way clothes are made and how they are formed. And so once you learn things like this, you can take that and translate it into a lot of other things that you might want to make. And of course, this one is super comfy and laid back. And last up, this one is a little bit more than shorts. It's actually a skirt, And a skirt is something that looks like a skirt, but it's actually shorts, which is the best of both worlds for me because I really, really like to have shorts under a skirt so that I'm not so limited in my movement. So this is the best of both worlds. And this is how you take a men's suit and turn it into a skirt. First thing we're gonna do is try it on and mark our lengths. I'm gonna cut it to right here to start off with. Then where do I want the skirt? Which happens to be right at the bottom of the pocket so that works well. So we're gonna cut these across, um, making sure that we leave seam allowance. We have the shorts here and we need to figure out which side of the blazer we wanna use as the panel for the score. And I think I'm gonna use this side because then I could take the buttons off of the other side and use them to secure the sport on this side. All right, so that means I need to seam rip just this panel off. I'm gonna iron it and then just do a top stitch. And I'm gonna clip it. And I'm just trying to make sure that the lining isn't higher than the outer layer. Okay, so now I can go to the sewing machine and take just a, a stitch right along the edge there. I can go ahead and serge the bottom and fold it under. And also, you do the same thing to the lining. You just serge it and fold it under. But make sure that when you do the lining, you fold it under more than you fold the pants under because you don't ever want to be walking around and your lining slip, slip out. It, it looks horrible. Turn it inside out again. So I'm putting the piece in. That is cute. Let's take it off before I stick myself. All right, so I made sure that the head of the pin was at the end of the buttonhole, so I can make sure I line this up with that. When I finish, I put it through, loop it around a couple times, and that makes a knot, and I'm done. And since you already cropped the blazer, you might as well make it a set. It looks so good like this. This is actually one of my favorite sets. Of course, it's personalized. You can do yours however you like. Like I said, make it whatever length you want. And uh, just so cool. So that's it. Seven ways to take your pants. Or actually, I realized we had one that wasn't pants. But to take your old clothes and turn them into shorts. I hope this helps you guys get ready for summer. I know we're all been looking forward to because this winter has been so long. So let's go into the summer super stylish and super comfortable. And of course, I have 50 million other videos for you to watch right here. So many different types of tutorials. I have some scissors only tutorials. Yes, scissors only tutorials all the way up to the most amazing epic up cycles and I'm super excited for what we have coming up this summer so if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much sending you love and hugs and I will see you guys in the next one all right bye